Hayes was always a fan favorite. He was one of the most colorful stars to ever play. But beyond his talent and style, there was Mays's feel for the game and his high baseball IQ. People always used to talk about your sense of the game, mm -hmm. how you would call pitches from center field. <laughs> yeah, You'd position yeah, yeah. the infielders and the, and the other outfielders. You just yeah. had a sense of the game. The rule that we had when I play this one hand, it go left or right. Anytime that hand move, you got to move. That's the only rule we ever had in the outfield. Now, if you didn't see that, you didn't play the next day. Very simple. You had the power to bench a guy the next day, regardless of what Alvin Dark or Herman Franks or whoever was the manager said? Mm -hmm. I ran the field, you know, and I said to Herman, you run the bench, I'll run the field. <laughs> I didn't have a coach when I played. I didn't have one. Everything I did was on my own. Let's say you're on first, guy hits a double in the gap. Mm -hmm. You're rounding second base. Mm -hmm. The third base coach is looking at you. He doesn't do anything? I don't look at him. That's not my problem. I look at the guy that got the ball. If the ball is in the gap and the guy having to bobble it, I'm the score. Mays' baseball instincts were almost always right. Almost always. Just ask Willie about his friend, the late Ken Boyer, the Cardinals' MVP third baseman. I hit a triple, and we're playing in San Francisco. And he came over to me, and he says, step off the bag, Willie, and let me, you know, straighten it out. Fool like me stepped off the bag, hidden and he tagged trick? me out. Yeah. Willie Mays got yeah. caught by the hidden ball trick? I did, I did, and I cussed him all kinds. I called him all kinds of names. <laughs> that's what happened. He's a, such a good friend of mine, I, I didn't think he would ever lie to me, you know. In a golden era of baseball greats, Willie Mays was the biggest star of all. There were the great catches, like game one of the 54 World Series at the Polo Grounds, Cleveland's Vic Wirtz at the plate. And this one on a Saturday game of the week late in his career when Mays jumped over Bobby Bonds to make this catch. But it wasn't just the catches or the daring base running or even the 660 home runs that separated Mays from the others. It was playing stickball with the neighborhood kids in the New York streets before a game. It was the energy and enthusiasm which he seemed to bring to every inning. The fans loved the show, and Willie knew it. Were you always mindful of the idea that yeah you want to win the game but you also want to entertain oh, the yeah. people if a fly ball was coming up and i know i got this ball without any problem if you slip the first thing people are going to holler ooh ow oh, all that kind of jump and so you, I you'd slip on purpose oh yeah 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 you just do that would you get a cap they always said you get a cap <laughs> that wasn't really the right size so it would fly off somebody told you that yeah when I'm running, if I did this, the cap is on the ground all the time. You have to entertain people, and that's what I wanted to do all the time. Whether it was the flying cap, his trademark basket catch, or some other facet of his unique style, Mays' appeal went beyond hardcore baseball fans. On a team of stars, he was always the big attraction when the Giants came to town. And in the 1960s, he even had a short television career. I remember as a kid, you would show up on some of these television shows, and it didn't make any sense, but all of a sudden, there'd be Willie Mays like at Donna Reed's house. Yeah. What was up with that? When I needed money, <laughs> I'm telling you, see, you, you guys are laughing. This is the way I made money. When I needed money, that was an owner. His name was Tony Owen, was Donna Reed's husband, but he was the producer of the show, like this kind of show. Right. So I said to Don Tony, I need to make 10000 man. He said, I can't give you 10000 He said, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You come on here for like a half a minute or two minutes, we'll give you 10000 I said, you got it. Donna. Willie, what a nice surprise. So I learned every year that I needed ten or 15000 call up Tony. I got the money without any problem. So you cast yourself on these shows. Oh, yeah. And here he is. Hi, Donna. Hi, Alex. Hope I'm not bothering you folks. Hi, hey, Willie. Come on in. If you somehow missed his brilliant TV work, you could have turned on your radio to hear Willie celebrated in song. Say hey, 
Amen.